Welcome. Today we are going to build a 4-bit asynchronous JK flip-flop counter. First, we have to design what we are going to do. So I'm opening paint just to draw what we are going to do. It's going to be 4 bits. 1 bit, 2 bit, 3 and 4 bits. Each has two possibilities. 0 and 1, 2, 2 and 2, which makes 16 possibilities ranging from 0 to 15. When we come to the design, first let's show what is a JK flip-flop. So basically, a flip-flop stores some values and it has two inputs right here. One is J, one is K. A clock input right here, a reset input, which then by not, it's the negative of what comes here. We will check that later. There is also a set value. This also is knotted when it goes inside. We have a Q output and a Q not output. So if you draw the trap table, it's something like this. So J and K and Q, Q not. If we have J and K set to zero, the output value is gonna be same. It's gonna stay the same. It's gonna go out as Q. If it's zero, it will be zero. If it's one, it's gonna be one. And Q not is gonna stay the same as well like this. What if they are not 0, 0? The second possibility is j is 0 and k is 1. If k is 1, q is gonna be 0 and q not is gonna be 1. If j is 1 and k is 0, then q is gonna be 1 and q not is gonna be 0. If they are both 1s, this time q becomes q not it toggles and Q0 becomes Q. This is 0 and this is 15. Bit 1, this is bit 2, this is bit 3, and this is bit 4. So this one, the first bit, goes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 all the time. This one goes from 0 to 1 in two numbers. And this one changes after four numbers. And this one changes after eight numbers. We're gonna use this one because we want our value to change from Q to Q0, which is Q was zero and it becomes one, then it becomes zero and then becomes one again. But we want this to change once this finishes its cycle. And we want this to change when this one finishes its cycle, which is 4, and this one will change when this cycle ends, which is 8. If you start to build the real data sheets for it, 1, 2, 3, and 4. They are not identical, but it doesn't matter. This one has J and K and the clock. Let's make the clock like this. This one has J and K, we said, and the clock. J and K have to be 1. And the reset pin is not. If we connect 1 here, it's gonna come here and become 0, then it will be 0 inside, so it won't reset. If we make it 0, it's gonna go inside, then it will become 1, because this is a not, it will become 1. We don't want to reset our flip-flop. This has to be one as well. This was first bit. For the second bit, we want our first flip-flop to trigger the second one. So we are taking this Q output and putting it here. So these clock entrances are triggered by from going high to low with the logical numbers. So if we have wave like this as a clock, when we drop from this 1 to this 0, on this drop, 
our flip flop will be triggered. So in this case, in here, when our queue goes from 0 to 1, then 1 to 0, this will trigger the second flip flop. J and K are still 1 and the reset button also is 1. Then we will do the same. J and K and 1. J is 1, K is 1. We could call these resets R. I mean, R is gonna be 1 as well. And this is our clock basically. Now let's build it on Tinkercad and see if it's really gonna work. First, let's put a breadboard. I think this one's enough. Let's put flip flops. They are prepared like this. You don't have to like build a real flip flop here. You have them ready. D flip flop, JK flip flop here. This right here works as a flip flop, but if you check it, um, there are actually two flip flops inside it. Let's check it on the internet. Got a sheet, and you can see that it's somehow two flip flops inside one board. You can see here. We had four flip-flops, then we are going to use two of these. I'm going to take another one and put them on the board. I'm going to connect this plus to this plus, maybe move them. I'm going to color it to red and this negative to this negative. So it's basically going to be ground. Let's make it black. Now it says power here. It's actually Turkish, but if you use the Tinkercad yourself, you will see your language or English, doesn't matter. The middle button one is power, so I'm going to connect it to power, which is this line right here. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. And the upper middle one is ground. I will connect it to this line over here, which is ground. So now we have the power for this board, this each one, and then we have to do the real connections. This is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3, and this is Q4. We're taking Q1 and putting it into clock 2. Let's take output 1, and this is Q0 basically. We're gonna take Q and where is clock 2? Yeah, clock 2 is here. So I'm going to take it right here, then button, then right here, and connect it. Okay, we have this connection. Then I'm going to do this connection. Take from Q2, output 2, into clock 3, right here. Clock 3 is right here out to is here i'm going to take out two and connect it to clock one we did this one as well now the last one last connection is from output three to clock four it says output one but this is our second board so i'm going to take this one and let's move it down here Let's go here and here, move it down a little so we can see it. Now the clock connections are done, we have to connect J, K and reset all to 1. Logic 1 is maximum voltage and logic 0 is minimum voltage. We have voltage coming from the plus and going to the ground, so we are gonna connect the logic ones into the power line. This is J1, as you can see. I'm connecting it to plus. Let's color it orange to show it that it's logic one. K1 is here and it also is one. Um, reset one is also logic one. K2 is also logic one. Reset two and J2. Now I'm going to do the same for the second board.
Okay, now we actually connected the right, we made the right connections and we have this over here. What we will do is we will show the outputs. We have Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. This is first bit, this is second bit, this is third bit and this is fourth bit. So I'm going to put four LEDs on the screen like this. One, two, three, and four. Each one is gonna represent the bits they are connected to. And this is positive and this is negative for each LED. What we are gonna do is we will take this output one, which is first bit, and connect it to let's connect it here and move it down. Okay, this is the positive and this is going to be the negative. Since these are um, presenting some bits, we're going to make them in different colors. This is going to be this color and where is out 2? Out 2 coming down. Make this, make this blue. Output actually 3 is right here, so taking that one, let's move them down so we can see it clearly, I'm going to make it purple, and out 4, which is 4th bit, it's going to be down here, and it's going to be, actually that was pink and it's going to be purple. Let's connect the grounds. Now everything is fine, but we need some clock for the first bit to start. So I'm going to make it a manual clock. I'm taking a button, rotating it. So Terminal 1B and Terminal 2B. This is the clock. I'm connecting the clock of the 1, the first flip-flop, and connecting it to 1B. Let's color this yellow. And Terminal 2 is going to be connected to voltage. So we're going to give it some power, and then when we release, the power is going to go down, so flip-flop will be triggered. Let's make this red. Okay, now everything is fine. I think we need the power. For power, I'm going to put some batteries. Mm, this one, but I'm going to give 4.5 volt. That makes three of them. This is the positive line, and this is the negative one. But before doing that, we need some resistors. Our LEDs are going to burn, maybe these are going to burn. So I'm going to take a resistor for connecting this. Actually, if I use the power connected to resistor, it's going to work. So let's see, we'll take this and connect it. It's gonna be like 270 ohms, would be enough. And this is gonna be black. Let's see if it works. Simulation started. When I click this, the first bit goes one and others are zero. So this is number one. The second bit started and this is zero. This is binary two. Binary 3, 4, 13, 14, 15, and back to 0. It works. I hope you did it as well. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.